we want to care for our parents, right? right? And I got a little bit worried about my mother. She's in Connecticut. No, she was driving a little bit slower. And so we looked at how do we help our parents stay in their homes as they age. Right. Turns out there's a $30 billion industry called non-medical home care where people help with what are called activities of daily living, things right. like getting out of bed, getting food, getting dressed. But it's, it's really fragmented, right? Mm -hmm. $30 billion, but 50,000 agencies across the United States. That means that each agency doesn't have many care pros, right. and so it's hard for them to get the best person for so you. So you created the, the equivalent of almost like an Uber, if you well, will. Well, it's really easier for people to either call us, go on an app, go on a website, and get the best care pro for them, their parents, and their needs. Because like your mom might have dementia, someone else's mom might have cats in their home, and you have to get the right care pro with the right, right. skills for that and person. And why is this better, for example, than all of the many agencies that are out there locally? Yeah, it's simple things like if your mom has cats in her home and she has dementia, you want to make sure the care professional is going to help your mom is trained in dementia care, is not allergic to cats, right? right? And then you use technology to do all that routing to charge people a little bit less and pay the care pros more because right now care pros in America, there are 2.5 million of them. Right. We're going to need 5 million in about 20 years and they're not we well paid. We have a shortage already of people, so where we are already you getting have a shortage. Your, your people then? We go to everything from nursing schools, vocational schools, but we're constantly recruiting. We have an insatiable demand for care pros because we have so many elderly. Every day, 10,000 people turn but 65 are you taking in America. Them from, you, you must be taking those, because an Uber driver may just be a private citizen with a car, requires no special training. Mm -hmm. That's right. Nurses are a different story. That's right. You need, where are they you, need training you, you must honor. be taking them away from somewhere else, nursing homes, hospitals. You know, oftentimes people come from other agencies that have been providing in-home care and come to Honor because we really concentrate on enabling people to have a career in home care. So a ladder up, right? Better pay than average, enabling them to be amazing in the home. We want to turn something that's really not been an amazing job into an incredible job because right now you should be flipping burgers at McDonald's. You shouldn't right. be in home care, but we can change that. You okay. know, th 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 that's the big issue, though. It's, it, if you are somebody who relies on this, it's, right. first of all, finding someone you can trust, that you can count on, who is going to be um, heavily vetted before that's they exactly come That's exactly right, yeah. Second of all, it's making sure that if they can't show up, if they get sick, that's right. you have somebody to fill and backfill. And that's right. You, you know, when we were onboarding our first set of care pros, we showed them how to tell us they're sick mm -hmm. so that we would automatically backfill them. And they're going crazy over it. And I interrupted the training and I said, why are you so excited about the feature? It's, like, never, it's never and they existed. Said, yeah, I'm not allowed to be sick. Right. And, and as a said, result, you're going into someone who may have a compromised immune system. Exactly right. Highly vulnerable to these exactly things. Exactly right. We hear stories literature. about that all the time, right? It's care pros who are ill who have to go into someone's home and then they right. end up making the elderly person sick. We talk about your business as a Silicon Valley bred company, yeah. a technology company, but is this really a technology company or is this a people company? And yeah. then that goes to questions about scalability. That's an awesome question. So, um, you know, a lot of the elderly drive cars. We all drive cars, right? And cars do not feel like technology, mm -hmm. but without technology, cars would not work. It's the same thing for non-medical home care, believe it or not. The reason it's such a fragmented industry is that without technology, you cannot scale because the operations are so complex. So our customers, they think of Honor as a person that walks across the door and helps them in their home getting food or getting out of bed, right? But the reality is all the technology is hidden behind the scenes. Those are the best tech companies, right? right. You hide the technology. People don't feel like they're using technology, but it's making the entire service better. Even things like fraud prevention, right? right? Are you thinking in terms of as you grow across the country, obviously in yeah. SF now, yeah. do you think about rolling up other companies, meaning buying other companies? Do you think about just the, the cost of starting in a, in a particular city? How do you go about it? Yep, so we're in San Francisco Bay Area. Right. We're in LA. Right. We're about to go to Dallas, Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. And we've looked pretty hard at could we roll companies up, right? Could, could be faster. The problem is, is that they're all so small. Mm -hmm. Right, and we're so much more efficient. We'd buy really small companies, and then we'd probably have to remove a lot of their employees. Right. So we prefer just go into a market and open up directly. What kind of premium can you pay the service provider? So we pay at least a dollar an hour more than average in any given market that we're in, but it's usually higher. And do you see that scaling up? Oh yeah, time? absolutely. Like this has to be an amazing job for people, right? Technology lets us be more efficient. Right using those efficiencies to pay people better so that they're in a better place in their own lives so that they can then provide better care to our elderly is a massive part of what we do. Right.